Hello there. Welcome to Just the Dis. My name is Brian, and we talk about Blu-rays here. And I was going to include this title that I'm going to talk about in just an upcoming collection update, but actually the release is really cool, and it's one of my most anticipated films on Blu-ray, maybe ever. Um, and so I just wanted to do a short video talking about it and getting folks excited about it because this is like a really big deal that this is coming out. Um, and it is called Nightmare Alley. It is a film noir from 1947, but it is not a film noir in the traditional sense. You're not going to see detectives and dames in this movie. This one is much more a con man movie uh, that is carnival life adjacent. And it centers around a particular con man played by Tyrone Power. And he's really good in this movie. Um, here's the back, by the way, just so you can see it. And uh, I'll show you some more stuff in a second. But um, So apparently this project was like a really big deal to Tyrone Power. And the head of 20th Century Fox at the time wanted nothing to do with it. It's based on a very dark novel, uh, even more dark and adult than the film. And I think the film is pretty grim, ultimately, but it's really good. Just such a great, like one of my favorite noirs ever, uh, in terms of the fatalism, in terms of the general signposts of noir. Uh, it's just great. So this con man is obsessed with, you know, these carnivals, and he's going to a carnival, and he's even obsessed with the geeks, the guys who they have bite the heads off chickens and they seem to be crazy. There's like a sort of a motif throughout the film of hearing the geek screaming, you know, from insanity or whatever is driven to his whole idea is like, how could anyone sink so low? And so he's just fascinated with this thing and sort of starts to hang around the carnival and meets uh, a character played by Joan Blondell, who she and her husband have sort of a magic act where they have a uh, crystal ball reading uh, thing that they do and then they, they have a thing where they can work the crowd and they have a really great system that they've worked out that's signaling each other without anybody knowing they're signaling and so the con man character becomes fascinated by the code and trying to seduce Joan Blondell into giving him the code and that's about all I really want to tell you about the beginnings of the story because where it ends up going is a bit unexpected in some ways and there are elements that I'd rather that you discover for yourself but again it's not all um carnival life stuff you know freaks kind of you know freaks would be an interesting double bill with it actually but um there is more to it than that and it expands out a little bit in the second and third acts uh, but again, just a movie I absolutely love and was relegated to no release forever. The, I, I believe the DVD only became available in the last 20 years. And so that was a big deal when I got that Blu-ray. But then forever I was like, gee, gee I wonder if it'll ever get a... Uh, sorry, when I got that DVD. And of course I wondered when it would get a Blu-ray. And I would assume that the Guillermo del Toro project... Uh, that is in the works is certainly one of the reasons we're seeing this wonderful release out now. And I can't wait for that film either, but if it means we get this on Blu-ray, all the better, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to say this is really exciting stuff, folks. And if you like classic film, the best of classic film, this is one of them. And this release has some really cool stuff. Um, there's your disc itself and I did pop it in for a second the transfer looks good to me and the supplements are plenty uh, I will go through those in a second um, so you get your little it's not even a booklet as much as it's sort of a fold out essay which is cool uh, I'm definitely into this any writings on this film uh, are intriguing to me and this of course written by Kim Morgan who I'm a huge fan of Kim Morgan, and she, uh, you know, worked with Guillermo on the script for his film of Nightmare Alley. So she is one of the most qualified people to speak to this film and uh, obviously knows the source novel really well, and so that is wonderful. Uh, one thing they did in this one that I think is particularly straight-up awesome is they included some tarot cards as sort of an extra thing. 
So they look like this. You get six of them. And they're just super cool. It plays into the film uh, a bit. And you can kind of see what you're getting in terms of these tarot cards. But they're just nicely done. And it's an excellent addition to to this Blu-ray. I just thought that was super cool. So I wanted to show off the tarot cards uh, and the, ins and the uh, insert. Um, but in terms of extra features, uh, new 4K digital restoration with uncompressed binaural soundtrack. Audio commentary from 2005 featuring film historians James Orsini and Ellen Silver. Uh, I remember listening to that track off the DVD and, and very much enjoying that. So uh, I'll be checking that out again. New interview with critic Imogen Sarah Smith. She's fantastic. I believe I've talked about her on the channel before, but she is wonderful when it comes to film noir. Just really knows her stuff. And I always enjoy her Criterion interviews. I think there are some of her interviews even on the Criterion channel right now, but don't quote me on that. But I've seen her appear on other Criterion Blu-rays and never been disappointed with what she had to say. Uh, new interview with uh, performer and historian Todd Robbins. And I don't know Todd Robbins right off the top of my head, but uh, I'm sure this will be another good interview, as well as an interview from 2007 with actor Colleen Gray, who is in the movie and stars opposite uh, Tyrone Power as well. And so to hear her recollections of the film will be priceless in my head. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And then there's an audio excerpt from a 1971 interview with Henry King in which the filmmaker discusses uh, working with actor Tyrone Power. He didn't direct this movie. This is directed by Edmund Goulding, but he did direct, I want to say like almost probably a dozen movies, maybe a little less, uh, with Tyrone Power. And so he can speak to uh, his working experience with the actor. And so I look forward to that. Um, and again, the essay by Kim Morgan. So really a quality Criterion release and one that I wanted to highlight alone away from any other discs just so I could say, guys, pre-order this, check it out. If if it's your bag, again, the noir stuff, you got to see it. I know Martin Scorsese is a big fan of this one. In fact, I think it was a poster that's in his office in an interview that he does for Personal Journey uh, through American cinema. I swear either he talks about the movie there or there's like a poster on the wall behind him at one point. And I was like, what is Nightmare Alley? And this was years ago. And that's when you couldn't even see it. So then it became available on DVD and many more people have seen it since. It airs on TCM a lot. Um, but definitely pick up this Blu-ray. Highest recommendation for me. One of my most anticipated films to come to Blu-ray. Uh, so definitely check it out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.